These girls came from different places, yet they share one story. Their families fled the war in Syria and have been living in Istanbul for three years. Esra lived under siege by the regime in the eastern countryside of Damascus in 2013. Six months later, she and her family managed to escape the blockade, but her brother couldn't. I feel desperate when I talk to him on the phone. We are separated. He can't bear the oppression of living under siege. It's like a big prison. Nuran saw the fighting and the aerial bombing with her own eyes in Aleppo city. She thinks the revolution has taken a different path. There are many sides and hands involved in Syria. That's why there is no revolution left. What remained are different opinions of each side. Esra and her family of seven survived after their home was bombed. Many armed groups have fought to control her hometown. All of the FSA, Daesh, Nusra Front and the Syrian regime say they're combating terrorism, but they're not. They're destroying my country. These classmates are happy to know each other in exile, but they don't believe they'll be packing to return home soon. Natalie Pohanan, TRT World, Istanbul.